the, the analysis of your baby face work aside, you've always hated being a baby face, not just because of the work either. Why, 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 aside from the work, the different style of work, why do you hate it? Because I don't like to be humble. <laughs> I'm terrible going, oh, I hope I can do this. I hope I can do that. I'd rather say, you know, I'm this, I'm that. You know what I mean? And you can't, all the stuff that came so natural to me and, my, and the arrogance and the things that I, the way I actually live my life, it's hard to do that and still be, and still be, um, you know, come across as somewhat of a humble guy or, you know, look for their, the only guy I've ever seen that could do that, um, going back to what I was saying, it could be as, he, he never had to change anything, uh, was, um, was Steve Austin. He, no matter what Steve did, right, he didn't have to change anything, and, they, and the fans loved him. Uh, and that, especially when it came to that stuff with, um, 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 with a Vince McMahon, when, when they had that, you know, phenomenal run against each other that, um, where Steve was clearly the baby face of Vince. With Vince was at that point in time the, the best heel in the business. Now, Meltzer gave that match four and a half stars and called mm-hmm. it a defining moment for you and your most memorable title win. That was at the time. Mm-hmm. Do you agree with that assessment? Um, say that to me one more time. He gave it four and a half stars out of five mm-hmm. and said it was a defining moment in your career and your uh, best title win to that point? Best title win ever in my career? No, no, to that point in your career. Most memorable were the exact words he used. Oh, yeah, I'll I'll go along with that, absolutely. But for the emotion that was brought to it, my family being there and everybody, um, yeah, I think it was absolutely um, a defining moment in my career. It certainly... You know, it gave me that position again. But I'll, I'll give you an example of, of where where I was. And this is the kind of stuff that, that you th- think back on over the years when you bring this to it. The next night when I was, um, it was um, Jeff Jarrett and I against uh, the Steiners the next night in Columbia. And, and Scott Steiner sent over and said, I'm, I'm, I'm not putting him over. Terry Taylor with the H&E said, so what do I do? I said, do whatever you want to do. The very next night. Yep. Wow. What 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 finish did you do? I can't remember. We didn't. We, I didn't go over. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that, that, you, that, that's the way the company was run, though. They, you know, they just did what they wanted to do. Well, maybe maybe Jeff put him over, right? I mean, that's what Jeff was there for, anyway. Um, I don't know, but I mean, first of all, Rick, why, I'm just taking a shot at Jeff. I hope he hears it. Oh, like, oh, oh, yeah. I like Jeff. Oh, I do too, yeah. I can't. I don't know what the finish was, but what I'm saying is that I just become the world champion. The next night I'm in a tag match, which made no sense anyway. Why I'm in a tag match? And then, um, you know, they, they didn't want to didn't want, uh, didn't want to put me over. So that, that's, that, I was at that point it was with, you know, with Steiner and a couple other guys. It, it just became a war. It wasn't worth it. 